guys, today is wash day. So I decided I'm going to be washing my hair extensions and I wanted to show you guys what I'm going to be using. I have a new styling tool that I want to try out. So today's video is going to be a demo of that styling tool. I want to see how well it straightens natural hair. So if you guys are new here, hi, my name is Shamir Nicole and today we're going to be doing some hair. So as I said, today is wash day and uh, this I have my hair and hair I have my hair and hair extensions this is my natural hair here and then this is my hair extensions in the back so as you guys can see I need a little bit of maintenance right so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wash my hair I am then going to blow dry and then I'm going to show you guys the styling tool I'm going to be using today to see how well it straightens my natural hair and how much body and curl I can get with the actual styling tool itself. So stay tuned and we are going to jump right into today's hair styling demo. All right you guys, so my hair is now washed. Ta-da! <laughs> so let me uh, get this together. Okay, so as you can see, all of the curly stuff belongs to me and all of the straight stuff is hair extensions. So let me show you what I use to wash my hair when I have my hair extensions in. So the first thing I use is the Care Care. This is the Hydrating Detangling Shampoo. I've done a few videos on my favorite shampoos. I will put them in the info cards here so that you guys can see it or maybe here. Not sure what side, but I'll put that video in the info cards as well as in the video description because I have a ton of shampoos that I highly recommend. Of course, this is on the list as well. This is again by Care Care and is their Hydrating Detangling Shampoo. Works really well on all hair textures. I use this even on my clients and customers who have um, really straight, fine textured hair, as well as my clients who are natural for B, C, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, okay? <laughs> and then next up, I have the Y Serum. This is by Nexus. This is their restorative conditioner. I've had this for quite some time. I will, if I can find this, I'll have it linked in the video description, but I really love this line. It really leaves the cuticle of my hair sealed pretty well. I have a nice slip to my hair when I condition it with this, so highly recommend this as well. And then now we're going to jump into styling. Um, this is, honestly, you guys, and you know I love Salon Braid products, but for something that you can get in, on the retail shelf, highly Highly recommend this line. This is the Cream of Nature Oregon Oil. This is their Strength and Shine Leave-In Conditioner. I talked about this in plenty of my videos. Highly recommend this. I actually talked about this on my blog as well. Run out and get it if you're looking for a leave-in spray conditioner. It's a must-have and I use this on, again, all of my clients who have various hair textures. Wonderful. Love this stuff. So, I'm going to straighten or section off my leave out so that I can kind of get this under control and with this leave-in conditioner you want to shake it and you can spray this on the um, hair extensions as well okay so this is all of my hair that's my sections and you guys I've had this hair this hair extension in for about I think now maybe be four or five, about six to seven weeks. So it is really time for me to retighten it, but we're not doing that today. We're just going to be refreshing it. Okay, so we are now going to blow dry. And then once we blow dry, we're going to come back in and I'm going to show you guys exactly what I do and how we're going to be straightening my hair. Okay, you guys, so this is where we are so far. I'm halfway through and uh, yeah, <laughs> this is what we looking like. So traditionally when I'm washing my hair extensions, I am usually under a hooded dryer and I'm at work. Unfortunately, I'm home today. So this is, <laughs> this is what it's looking like. So I'm just going to be drying my roots. I'm really making sure that the braids underneath my sew-in are completely dry. And then once everything gets dry, I'm then going to take the comb attachment and then I'm going to go through my entire head with the comb attachment. This helps to detangle my hair and it also makes it a little bit more easier to straighten once we get to the silk press process.
All right, you guys, so that is how it's looking with the dryer. Much easier compared to this side. See the difference? <laughs> Much better. Everything is now blow dry. The extensions are dry. And I am going to work on my leave out. So there are a few things that I can put on my leave out. Today I'm actually going to be using um, a product that I made. This is my mango butter moisturizer. And it has tons of things in here. I also have a video on how I made this. Uh, I'll link that in the info cards as well. This is the amount I'm going to be using. And I'm just going to rub it into my hand until it emulsifies. And I'm concentrating this on the ends of my hair. And then I'm also going to rub it into my hairline or my leave out as well. And this is going to help when I go to flat iron my hair. I already have the leave-in conditioner, which is great, but I also just like to use this as a heat protectant and to seal in the moisture from the conditioner. So again, I'll have this link in the video description if you guys are interested. But then I'm gonna go in with my blow dryer because I did not technically go through everything. And I'm going to blow dry my leave out and then we're gonna go ahead and style. So the flat iron that we're going to be trying out today is called the Time Iron Pro and I have it in the Glow Collection because I wanted something that was a little bit bright but this is what the flat iron looks like in the box. Um, it is just, it's a really unique flat iron. So it is an all-in-one styling tool. It has temperature memory. It works on every hair type so it says but we are going to be trying it out today to see if that is the truth honey. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. It is so pretty. It's nice and green and bright. So this is what we're going to be using today to style our hair. I really want to see how well this iron works on natural hair. That is one of the reasons why I'm doing this video because, like I said, I've seen this all over the place. But I really want to see, one, how well it curled my hair and how well it was straightened out my natural hair as well. So that is what we're going to be using. In the middle of the flat iron, it has the on button. And it's right in the center so you just press that here and then it will light up and then you can press it to get the temperature as high as you would like and the temperature on here goes up to it's five settings so it's 300 325 it goes up in increments of 25 350 375 and 400 so i know my hair um and i'm going to put it on 400 so i'm going to give this some time to warm up and then we're going to go right into the styling because as I said I want to see how well it straightens my leave out. Alright you guys so this is my hair completely dry. Crazy right? I know. Alright so we're going to section off my hair using the clip. My flat iron is on. Okay, so I'm looking at my hair while it's getting flat ironed and I'm noticing that I am trying to clamp the hair as I go. So I think I'm going to have to flat iron it this way. So you see this, this has like a, um, let me see, there we go. So it has like a hook right here. I was putting this hook right on my natural leave out. So I think I'm going to have to turn it this way and apply the flat iron the opposite way. Basically, that means that the smooth portion needs to go directly next to my leave out. This is where it needs to be on your scalp. So this part needs to be here. I'm gonna demonstrate. So let's section off the hair again. And as I said, this needs to be here, okay? Mm -hmm. 
that looks 10 times better now, right? So there are no waves, no lumps, no bumps, none of that. So we're getting a really good flat iron from this so far. So now that we got the hair straight, we're going to jump into some curls. I don't want it to be too tight. I just want more like a loose wave. So now I'm going to demonstrate how we can use the time iron to get some really soft waves. I'm going to be sectioning off my hair like just straight down the middle in the back. And then I'm going to actually start in the back because it makes it a little bit easier. Typically when I'm curling my hair, I always section my hair on a horizontal. Today we're going to be doing it vertically because I want the waves to kind of go back away from my face so it makes it easier to curl when you section in the same direction that you want the hair to kind of flow so instead of me going across i'm going to go down so i'm going to take a really small section from the back and i'm going to pin everything else up so that it can be out of my way the easiest way for me to explain would be to make sure that your thumb is behind the light that's right here so if you put your thumb behind the light that means that if you are looking in the mirror to curl your hair you should be able to see that light that's kind of like a basic for learning how to use it so once you really learn the basics it makes it easier for you to kind of switch up the curls make them tighter make them looser anything like that but highly recommend to put your thumb behind the light and make sure that when you're looking in the mirror or you're looking forward that you can see the actual light it's going to just make it a lot easier all right so so far so good we're getting some nice nice large waves nothing too tight and i'm just going to complete the same thing on this side and before we finish the other side i'm going to show you how everything looks Okay guys, so everything is curled. The only thing that I did was I went back and I put two big large curls here and I let them sit because I wanted to have a little more volume in the front. So we're going to take out the clips and we're going to see how everything looks. Is it, I'm, yeah. I'm going to take a little bit of Bio Silk. I have it in a clear container. A Bio Silk is just a shine serum. And I'm going to use a drop of this and it's just going to help me with the flyaways. You guys, I love the results. It's nice and full. It has tons of body to it. Yeah, I, this is the hair I'm talking about. Hair that moves, that bounce. It's given, it's given everything it was supposed to give. Okay guys, so that is going to complete today's tutorial. I do like the way that it turned out. It did not give me really tight curls like I wanted. I was going more for volume and body. And I do think it did a really good job of getting me that. What do you guys think? You gotta let me know in the comment section how you feel it came out. Also you guys, if there are any other like flat ironing or curling iron tools or hair tools that you guys want me to try out, please let me know in the comment section. I am on the hunt for all things hair related. I want to try them out for you guys so that you don't have to spend all of your money trying out products and not knowing how to use them. So that is going to complete today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to thumbs up. It really does help the channel and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next tutorial.